Hi, in this video, I'll show you how to serve static content from a Spring Boot application. So, uh, for this, uh, the prerequisites are Java, of course, and you need Eclipse with Gradle plugin. So, the latest versions of Eclipse are by default bundling the Gradle, so you don't have to worry about Gradle plugin. So, in my, my case, it's uh, Oxygen, uh, which gives you Gradle by default. So, let's get started. So first, create a Gradle project and name it. I'll name it as Spring Boot Static Website Example. Next, choose the Gradle wrapper and hit finish. So this will create you a gradle project skeleton for you and go to the build.gradle and add spring boot dependencies here so for that hit spring boots website and in the home page you can see the dependencies for spring boot so switch to gradle and copy the dependency so copy and paste it here so once that is done, you refresh the Gradle project so that it actually download those dependencies. So go to Gradle and hit refresh Gradle dependencies. Okay, looks like it's done. So in my case, I already did this several times. So I have these things in my Gradle cache. So if you're doing for the first time, it may take a little longer. So now my project got the spring dependencies. So now let's start. So this, the, this Gradle skeleton project gives you some example files. I'll just delete those things for now. Okay, now it's a clean project. So now I'll go and create a package. Com.example and I'll create a class. Maybe I'll call it as a start where I'll put my main. So annotate this main class with Spring Boot application and then start this. So to start a Spring Boot application, you write Spring application dot run and pass the the main class to it leave the default arcs so now if you run this main program you can see that the spring boot starts with the default port which is 8080 of course you can override if you want by adding the application dot properties and mention your custom port there so you can see that 8080 got started so if I go to the browser and hit localhost 8080 of course you see a 404 uh, because we have nothing in this project so now let's start adding the static content so for that first I'll add a source folder for resources so I'll say src main resources and then in the resources folder create a folder with name either public or static so you should stick to these names because spring boot look for this name specifically so you can't have your own uh, name for your static content so either have public or static so i'll take public because i'm, I'm just going to put my public static content here and maybe create an index file now Okay, so here is my index.html. So I just quickly add something to it. Sorry. Maybe a h1 tag. So Hello world. Let's 
come here and refresh of course I think you need to restart this one because you added a new source folder so come back to your start program and just start it again now go to the browser and hit refresh and you're done so Spring Boot started serving the static content for you maybe you can have your JS, JS folder sorry and a CSS folder and you can start having your static content so <clears throat> Oops. I did not include this in my HTML. Uh, for now, discard this for this demo. Uh, you can see by hitting the CSS slash main dot CSS. So you can see that Spring Boot serving everything for you under the public folder. Cool. You're done. Thank you.